Would you believe me if I told you that black holes existed even before the first stars were shown? The James Webb Space Telescope made an unexpected discovery of a black hole, and it's baffling scientists. It could be that all our knowledge of the young universe was completely wrong. Scientists are now on the trail of the beginnings, and it seems fantastic what really happened in our universe. Creation formed everything we know today from dust, gas, and motion. Black holes can suck in and disintegrate every known type of matter, gases, and particles. Once you get into them, you can't get out. But where does all the matter go as it disappeared forever? Or are black holes something like recycling machines that release the building blocks of matter in a previously unknown way? Just imagine a parallel world where scientists study white holes and wonder where the white holes get the matter from. Perhaps one day we will call into a black hole and someone on the other side will answer, so far, this is unthinkable. But there are even crazier theories. Some of them say that highly advanced beings use black holes as power stations or even as wormholes. Imagine that we couldn't even come close to such a thing without being broken down into our component parts. Gravity is already so high in the furthest vicinity that objects are pulled apart like spaghetti. However, the entities we are talking about here are very probably no longer material like us. They do not have bodies like we do, but have become spiritualized. Such considerations are exciting. And if you now think that ideas like this only come from researchers or UFO enthusiasts, then you are mistaken. The idea of super civilizations, which ultimately become the creators of matter themselves, came from a renowned Russian researcher named Kardashavs, and many other astrophysicists have developed these theories further. The other discipline of physics that postulates theories like this is quantum mechanics. The most exciting theory suggests that our black holes in another world are white holes, or possibly even stars that emit matter. Just one year later, the German physicist Karl Schwarzschild used Einstein's equations to describe the existence of objects with such a strong gravitational force that nothing, not even light, can escape them. The theory basically describes how mass and energy influence the structure of space and time. These objects later became known as black holes. His solution showed that if a massive object collapsed into a small enough space, such a phenomenon could occur. However, the first experimental confirmation of the existence of black holes did not come until many years later. In 1971, the first black hole was discovered indirectly through the observation of X-ray coming from a companion star in a binary star system called Cygnus X1. These X-rays clearly indicated material being pulled into an invisible, extremely massive object. We have only been observing these phenomena for a comparatively short time. A 100 years ago, black holes were still purely a mathematical assumption. It was Albert Einstein who laid the theoretical foundation for the existence of black holes in 1915, with his general theory of relativity. These tiny particles, which are the building blocks of our matter, show us that reality, and especially the material world, are not to be taken quite as seriously as we generally think. Among other things, quantum physics has discovered that entire universes can be hidden inside black holes. Naturally, scientists want to know everything about these phenomena, and the James Webb Telescope is the new superstar in this field as well. Using unique infrared technology, this telescope looks further into space than ever before. We can now see as close as the Big Bang, and what scientists have discovered there has left everyone speechless. Travel back in time in your mind to the epoch shortly after the Big Bang. Imagine how the first matter was formed. We usually think that the first objects that appeared in the universe were stars, but this may be incorrect. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers have tracked down the most distant supermassive black hole of all time. This monster hole is located in the galaxy Sears 1019, which only existed around 570 million years after the Big Bang. This period falls within the period of the young universe, 
Today, the cosmos is very probably almost 14 billion years old, with only around 9 million solar masses. This black hole had much less mass than the enormous black holes that we normally find in the universe. These giants often have more than a billion solar masses and shine brighter as they actively devour much more matter. Nevertheless, this black hole is already considerably large. And now think about the fact that a black hole of this size takes millions or billions of years to grow, so it must have been very old at the time that we can see now, and it must have existed a short time after the Big Bang. Incidentally, the same applies to the whole galaxy. Sears 1019 was certainly one of the first galaxies in the universe. The galaxy probably still exists today, but it's now very far away from us. And Sears 1019 has very probably merged with other galaxies and looks completely different. Even in James Webb's pictures, the galaxy looks very unusual. It appears to be composed of three bright clumps instead of a single circular disk. This could indicate that three young galaxies are merging to form an even larger one. The researchers suspect that smaller black holes were more common in the early universe than previously thought, and that they may have existed before stars existed. But this surprising discovery was not all. The James Webb Telescope has detected two more smaller black holes that existed one and 1.1 billion years after the Big Bang. These discoveries were made possible thanks to Webb's Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Survey, a program that combines highly detailed infrared images and data to map the oldest objects in the universe. Discoveries such as the black hole in the galaxy Sears 1019, as well as the galaxy itself, and many other galaxies that existed in the young universe, allow astronomers a unique look into the early stages of the universe. In this way, we will one day not only better understand the formation and growth of black holes, but we will also be able to reconstruct how our gigantic and beautiful universe slowly evolved, our black holes dead stars. Perhaps some of you still have the thought in your head that black holes are dead stars. This is only partly true. There are possibly different ways in which these cosmic monsters can form. These black giants were therefore not stars before this, but formed directly in the centers of young galaxies and groups these enormous sizes by devouring matter and merging with other black holes. So friends, what do you think about this theory? Put your views in the comment section. If you like the video, please like and share it with your friends and space enthusiasts. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos.